Hi everyone! Today we are going to talk about the new features of CAR 010 and Sandbox Frame version 1.4.0. Our team is working with great enthusiasm to make the CAR Sandbox ever more powerful and user-friendly. We highly appreciate your innovative ideas and implement the best of them into CAR. We very much count on your further active use of CAR, your feedback and your contributions to CAR and to the future of the Internet of Things. Before we start our exploration of the new CAR Sandbox features, let me remind you of why you may want to use the Sandbox. The CAR Sandbox is a self-contained virtual machine with all CAR services pre-installed and pre-configured for you. That's why it dramatically speeds up your introduction to the CAR IT platform and offers a hassle-free test drive of its features and demo applications. Ok, let's get to business. First. You will need to download the image file of the CAR Sandbox from the CAR website. Go to www.carproject.org and click Download CAR. Then you will see a list of CAR download options, one of which is the CAR Sandbox. Click on it to start the download. Once the download is finished, and assuming that the Oracle VirtualBox software is installed on your computer, you may launch the CAR Sandbox. Run the Oracle VirtualBox. On the File menu, click Import Appliance and locate the CAR Sandbox file that you downloaded from the carproject.org. Then click Next and make sure you have enough RAM to run the Sandbox. It works better if your PC has more than 4 gigs of RAM. After these few steps, you are ready to start the import it's going to take a moment or two. Once the import is finished, you will see this screen. Before starting the car sandbox, let's go into settings. First of all, you should click on the system and switch to processor. You'll see that by default, the system only assigns one CPU. You may want to change that. That's it. Now we're ready to boot. Start the virtual machine and wait until it boots up. Ok, now the car sandbox is up and running. You can see that CAR Sandbox web interface is currently available at 127.001 port 90.80. So let's open the Sandbox. Starting from Sandbox frame 140, we use Net Network mode by default that fits most use cases out of the box. The only exception that is to be able to connect to Sandbox from remote, you need to update the car host IP setting on management page to your host PC's IP address. For locally running applications, this is not required, so you can leave the default setting local host there. The next feature, which was highly requested by the car users, is simplified download of the car server logs. Now you can download the logs in just one click. Also, it becomes easy to adjust the log level. That's it for sandbox management, let's discover some other improvements. In this car sandbox frame 1.0, we have introduced new features on some platforms. You can see them in the updated filter panel. Also, to the left you can see the folder complexity. It is helpful if you want to filter the sample applications by their complexity. There are three complexity categories. Basic, for very small applications demonstrating elementary use of car functionality. Basic complexity sample apps are designed to demonstrate the functionality of individual platform functions isolated from everything else. The functions not only include the SDK side APIs, but also the server-side public APIs and functionality. In the new Sandbox version, the basic applications have been revised and added for all the key feature types with support for major platforms. 
Windows, Linux, iOS and Android. The new base example applications also cover almost all supported SDK platforms – Java, Objective-C, C++ and C. Regular – for more complex applications that require understanding of the key platform concepts. Advanced – for complex applications that typically demonstrate a close to real-life use case, potentially using a combination of several car functions, more complex setup or even customization. One more important feature is the app bundling. An app bundle inherits the combination of platforms and features of the nested sample applications. Clicking on a bundle will open the window with a list of nested applications and the bundle description with an in-depth tutorial for a step-by-step -step guiding through the application's configuration and operation. This is it for today. Thank you for watching. See you at carproject.org and make sure to chime in on our forum and Stack Overflow. Thanks, bye.